Hello and welcome to the Johnny Gets Cash YouTube channel where I buy, fix and sell cars for profit. Recently I bought this 20 year old Ford Focus gear for less than scrap value. So far you've seen me explain how I bought the Focus so cheap, give it a first test drive to make sure that everything works as it should, followed by its first clean in many years and dealing with a small amount of rust that needed to be sorted. In this episode I'm tackling the bodywork of this old Ford Focus and sorting out any blemishes and imperfections in order to make this old Ford the best example that it can be. Hi guys, welcome back to the Focus Freshen Up. Last time you saw me give the car a quick clean, sort out the rust in the rear arches, clean the arches themselves and clean the wheels. I did mention at the end of that episode that I'm gonna be starting the bodywork next time and that is today. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna start with the worst corner, which is the rear right of the car. Um, I believe this bumper's had some paint in the past, but obviously it's had a little bit of damage since. We've also got a small amount of uh, rust on that arch there. So. I'm going to be sorting all this side out first. I've got this sill to do. If you remember, I had to weld a new piece in the rear end of that sill last time. So I'm going to be getting on with the bodywork today, but I'm going to start here. There's a few other little spots to do around the car, but while I've got the car on the ramp still, uh, it makes sense to start here. So that's what I'm going to crack on with. Okay, so those bits of paintwork on the Focus are now finished. You can see at the front here where I removed that odd bit of transfer, I had to flat that, it hasn't been polished yet. I'm saving all the polishing work for when the car gets detailed. Further to that, obviously the car is very dusty because it's been in the paint shop, but I'm not worrying about any of that until it gets its final detail. In terms of the paint that's been done, you remember that original repair on this sill? Well, I didn't change it. All I did was protect it again and uh, put that in body color. Again, that needs uh, flatting and polishing, as does all the paintwork that's just been done. Moving around the back, there was a bit of damage on the rear corner that has been dealt with on the arch and the bumper. This sill here, where I had to make up a little piece at the back, again, that's all been painted and underneath. Uh, the wing mirror caps, they had a few little scratches on them, so they have been painted entirely, both sides, just to get rid of any little marks and dings. In the same vein as that, this passenger side door handle had that chip in the bottom of it. 
that is now completely gone uh, a little bit of airbrush work to get that blended in really really pleased with how that's come out so that means basically all the paintwork is finished now if i'm being completely honest i think in person it looks a lot better than what it does on camera but this 4k camera is showing a slight tonal difference between the rear arch here that i've painted and the standard color of the door and indeed the top of the quarter now as i say in person it's not that obvious but this camera seems to pick it up now the reason behind that i believe is because although we've used proper uh, the proper code of paint to do this repair the car itself is obviously 20 years old and it's been exposed to uv light from the sun for 20 years so this original color is now not original to spec as it were if it was a really expensive car uh, what i would do is have a custom paint matched to the color that is currently on the car so it would match exactly but being it's a cheap car this is going to be absolutely fine as i say in person it's not as obvious as it is on camera and that repair is the main thing there's no visible damage anymore like there was before and that's really what i wanted to solve so for a cheap car i think someone's going to be very very happy with it so that's this episode done with the paintwork what is next we've still got the service to do as i said it's going to be an all-encompassing service still got to do the interior of the car that is really grotty still as i mentioned just now it still needs a full detail and then after that it needs a new mot before it can go off and find its new home so there's still quite a bit to do but for now this episode is finished i've showed you the paint that's been done so any little repairs on the body of the focus are now finished so as always thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one cheers mm -hmm.